So now France is under fire for blocking the entry talks with Ma North Macedonia and Albania. Some EU officials call that a historic mistake. Can we touch on that a little bit? Absolutely. How would you call that process? Well, what I would underscore up front is the United States' strong support for the European perspective for all of the countries of the Western Balkans. The immediate question on the agenda, the question that the European Council will be faced with in the meeting in March, is whether to open accession negotiations with North Macedonia and Albania. The United States very much hopes that the answer to that question is yes. We think both countries qualify on the merits. We think it's an important signal to send to the region. Uh, we think it's, it's essential that both North Macedonia and Albania have a clear European path and a European perspective. So it's a matter of uh, time, not if, but when, right? Something well, ideally it's March, ideally. right? That, mm -hmm. that we'd like to see that, that uh, door opened. We'd like to see that strong signal sent. Is the United States uh, planning to strengthen its military and economic presence in the region? I, I would say that the United States is, is engaged diplomatically across the, the Western Balkans. Certainly my appointment by the Secretary of State as his special representative for the Western Balkans, the appointment by the White House of Ambassador Rick Grinnell as the special presidential envoy for the Serbia-Kosovo dialogue, what that underscores is the United States' continued commitment to engagement in and interest in the Western Balkans. The Western Balkans as a region has our attention. We'd like to partner with the region to help them achieve their goal of European integration. That's membership in the European Union for all the countries of the Western Balkans, membership in NATO for all who aspire to it. Yeah, is there any ob obstacles though? Because um, there were several cases uh, regarding the Russian influence in the region. Let's mention a few, uh, the coup plot in Montenegro, mm -hmm and also the poisoning of Emilian Gebrev, the Bulgarian arm mm -hmm. dealer. Have you noticed any Russian agents' activity in the region lately? Okay. Certainly this is something that we pay a great deal of, of attention to. We're concerned about Russian intentions with respect to the Western Balkans. We're concerned about Russian activities. You've identified a few. Um, I would also point to Russian efforts to undercut support for the PRESPA agreement between Skopje and, and Athens as another example of malign activity on, on the part of the Russian, Russian state. The United States has a vision for the Western Balkans. It is a positive vision. It is a vision of a region at peace with itself, at peace with its neighbors, stable, prosperous, and integrated into the European family of nations. That's not Russia's vision. Russia prefers a Western Balkans that is fractious, that is divided against itself, that is suspicious, that has an element of chaos to it, an, an area where the Russians can turn the level of tension up and down like a rheostat to use as a wedge between the Western Balkans and the, and the, uh, the international community and the Western uh, mm -hmm. community of nations. So we are, are committed to this positive partnership. Uh, we don't believe that the Russians share our vision for the Western Balkans and that Russian activity in the Western Balkans has been negative for the region's own aspirations. Is this activity increased lately or is just still? I, I think that it's, it's at a pretty high level all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we would like to do is to demonstrate our commitment to the region as partners mm -hmm. with this positive agenda in pursuit of a European future. Doing that requires that the European future, the European perspective be clear and compelling. Mm -hmm. This is one of the reasons why it's so important that the European Council do the right thing at the March meeting and agree to open accession negotiations with Albania and North Macedonia. It's not just about those two countries. It's a message to the entire Western Balkans. Serbia, Kosovo, if we expect them to work towards a compromise agreement in the dialogue process, they need to know that the difficult political decisions they're being asked to make will be rewarded with progress towards a European perspective. And there's one more topic that uh, is very popular in Bulgaria right now. Uh, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo barred a Bulgarian judge from uh, entering the United States because of his alleged involvement in uh, significant corruption. Can you elaborate a little bit more on this topic? The, the travel bans, visa bans, are important instruments that the United States has available worldwide in the fight against corruption. Uh, we are committed to combating corruption. 
We are committed to calling out and identifying those individuals who are engaged in corrupt practices and, and making sure that people are aware uh, that the United States stands firm and, and sure in support of good governance, transparency, accountability, and the, the role that, that public officials play in ensuring good governance. Did you provide the Bulgarian um, officials with more specific information on this case? We stand ready to engage with competent Bulgarian authorities to provide information as, as appropriate. Did you provide the Bulgarian um, officials with more specific information on this case? We stand ready to engage with competent Bulgarian authorities to provide information as, as appropriate. So we still don't know, uh, the public won't know soon any details about this, right? But There's nothing more that I have to, I to share with you on this, but I can mm -hmm. tell you that the United States is, is firm and stalwart in, in our commitment to support I, good mm -hmm. governance and to combat corruption. Should we expect bigger figures to be designated? Uh, again, I'm, I'm not going to foreshadow any particular decisions. These are authorities that the United States government has available. We use them as necessary and appropriate in advance of our uh, anti-corruption efforts. Thank you.